Hey there, it's Millennial Nurse Mentor back with another video. And today's video is going to be about the trauma nurse assessment. So, if you're interested in learning how to assess your trauma patients, keep on watching for this video. We're gonna start with the bulk of an assessment in the emergency department is your nursing assessment. Yes, nursing assessments are very much important because as a nurse, you are the eyes and ears for that doctor. Unless you work at a big level one trauma center where you have 20 million residents assessing a patient, you are the eyes and ears. You are the person that's pretty much guiding care from the doctor for the patient. And so your trauma nurse assessment is very, very important. Your trauma nurse assessment is broken up into a couple different parts. You have your preparation, your triage. This is where you get your EMS report and based on that, you'll prepare your room, whether you need fluids, rapid infusion, blood products, you get your team ready, your right handers, your left handers, your team lead, your scribe, person's doing meds, person's gonna run the rapid infusion, person's gonna assist the doctor, person's gonna focus on airway, person's gonna focus on meds. That's why you're preparing everything in that and determining what your triage is going to be based on your EMS report. Hit point, which is your primary survey, and that's where you, you first get the patient into your room. You do an initial across the room assessment, which pretty much tells you if their ABC is intact, if they have good airway, breathing, circulation, and they actively believe you. And then after your across the room assessment, that's when you go through your A through I assessment. I will talk about that in detail in another video because your A through I assessment is a little bit detailed and lengthy, but your A through I assessment is in that primary survey. Primary, well, primary initial assessment once the patient gets in the room. Then once you have cleared your primary assessment, that's when you're determining, okay, can they stay at this facility? Do they need to be transferred out? Do they need to go to the IC? Do they need to go to OR? What is the potential disposition for this patient and typically that is made by the doctor well not typically it is made by the doctor <laughs> but the nurse is the one who helps assess the patient so the doctor can make that decision and then after they have determined the disposition they'll go to the secondary survey which that's where you get into your history your HCTs, everything else secondary to what could kill the patient is basically what your secondary survey is. Your history, your medications, that type of thing. Notifying family, that is your secondary assessment. And then after you get your secondary assessment, you're basically managing care in the emergency department until they get transferred to a higher level of care whether it's another facility, ICU, or what. Hopefully this helps with your assessment for traumas. I know it seems like a lot, but once you actually work, even the smallest little trauma, it's just muscle memory at that point. It's really not that hard. Pretty much biggest thing with your trauma assessment is you find the problem, you fix the problem, that's about it. And then transfer to high level care or discharge. Hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, drop comments down below. I'll be happy to answer them. If you want more videos on this, let me know as well. And if you don't have any other questions, hit that subscribe button. And I'll talk to you on that video. And this is the Millennial Nurse Mentor signing off again. <laughs>